This presentation is a production of the Animal Science Department at Purdue University. The Holstein cow originated in the northern Netherlands in Europe, an area abundant in grasses and meadows. But some of the original herds consisted of black animals and others of white animals. The two breeds were bred together and developed a high efficiency cow that could convert grass to milk efficiently. Throughout much of the world, the Holstein or a related strain, the British Frisian, is utilized under grazing conditions. During the time America began to develop, there grew an increasing demand for milk. In the early 1850s, the first Holstein cow was brought to America from Europe aboard a ship. The importation of Holstein cattle came to a halt when a disease broke out in Europe. Only 8,800 live Holsteins were ever brought to America. More recently, other Holstein cows have come from Canada and the U.S. cattle and embryos have been sent to other countries. Semen from Holstein bulls is commonly exported and imported, and U.S. Holstein genetics has had a major influence on black and white dairy cattle around the globe. The popular Holstein breed is known as well for its ability to produce large volumes of milk efficiently as for its black and white markings. Most people don't know that Holsteins can also be red and white. The red color pattern results from a single recessive gene, and red and white Holsteins can command a premium price. In the U.S., Holsteins of red and white color may be registered with either Holstein USA or with the Red and White Association. The average production of the Holstein cow is 24,000 pounds or 2,773 gallons of milk, or 950 pounds of butterfat and 784 pounds of protein. This tremendous amount of production has allowed the Holstein to become by far the most common breed in the U.S., accounting for around 85% of all dairy cows. That is because U.S. milk markets place more emphasis on total milk volume than on the concentration of butterfat and protein in the milk. A mature Holstein cow should weigh about 1,500 pounds and stand nearly five feet tall. The height of cows is usually measured at the withers, which is the point of the back just above her front legs. The heifers in this breed can be bred at 650 pounds or 13 to 15 months of age. The gestation period is nine months, leaving the heifer to calve at about two years of age. A newborn calf usually weighs around 90 pounds at birth with bull calves usually weighing more than heifers. Sometimes this size results in a calf that is born only with difficulty. This problem can only be avoided by breeding heifers to bulls known to produce or sire calves that are born easily. Today, nine out of 10 producers in the U.S. raise Holstein cows. There are nearly 20 million dairy cattle that have been registered in the Holstein Association herd book virtually all tracing back to the original 8,800 cows that were imported. Milk yield by U.S. Holsteins has increased by more than 6,000 kilos or 13,000 pounds since 1960 when computers first allowed genetic evaluation of dairy bulls or the performance of their daughters. About half that increase is from genetics and half from improved management. Thanks to this rapid genetic progress for milk yield, the influence of the U.S. Holstein around the world is enormous. Even in the Netherlands, most modern Holsteins have ancestors bred, born, and raised in the U.S. Indeed, one issue of concern for this breed is that Holsteins around the globe are very closely related, and so inbreeding must be controlled by careful selection of bulls and cows to mate. <laughs> 